Welcome to the Prepperverse. I'm Doc JMO. Hey, I wanted to do a real quick video uh, for you this evening, and I'm really excited. I got a new product that I can't wait to try. Now, if you've watched my other video on um, bug out bob or bob shelters or bug out bag uh, shelter options, um, I said that I'm a big fan of the tarp. So anyway, I had gotten today in the mail from Amazon a tarp that I had got, and the brand is uh, AquaQuest, and um, it's a sil nylon or silicone impregnated nylon. It's a ten by ten, and I'm you know when I go outside, even just basically just. Uh, Camping, unless I'm with my wife, I'll, I'll use a tent. But otherwise, I'll use the tarp because I'm a huge fan of the tarp because you can uh, configure it in so many different ways. And it's so versatile and it's lighter. Uh, this is it. Like I said, this is a 10 by 10. Um, it's all of drab. They have different um, patterns and different sizes on there. But I like the 10 by 10 or, 10 by, or the 12 by 12. Um, I like the square ones because... It, they're not subject to uh, weird setups uh, or configurations. It's just a square. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is a 10 by 10 and it's one of my favorites to use. It's time to retire my old one. But like I was saying that these are lighter. They're lighter than tents, unless you get the, the high dollar uh, Dyneema type tents, which they're um, quite expensive. Uh, but anyway, if you, um, like using a lighter pack for your bug out bag. They kind of go on ultra light. This is the perfect companion. It's the perfect companion. This here is my uh, smaller one. It's a it's a 28, 28 liter pack. And uh, this makes a, a great a great bob. You just gotta watch what you <laughs> what you put on it, put in it. And typically, you know, the bigger your bag, um, the more stuff you're going to put in it. However, like I was saying before on my bug out bag video, my primary one is the 70 liter. Um, that's because mostly because I need space for my my sleeping bag. But anyway, hey, listen, I'm going to be uh, testing this out probably at the end of May. I got a training coming up with some of the guys in the posse and we're going to get together and we're going to do a Bob camp out. So anyway, I'll show you uh, some of the different ways that I'm going to configure this this uh, tarp and um, give a, a brief review on how I like it. Anyway, like I said, this is uh, one of the greatest things uh, about this is it is waterproof. That's why I choose uh, the silicone nylon. It is 100% it is waterproof. And this company says that it does have a, a lifetime guarantee. So that's pretty nice. I, I like companies uh, that uh, say that. And also, real quick before I end this video, it does come in a stuff sack. It weighs one pound, 12 ounces uh, this by itself. And it comes with a little uh, stuff sack. And the neat thing about this, looks like they put some thought into it too, because they put a mesh on the bottom. So, it, and it, you know, in a case where you have to stuff it back in because it's raining or, you you know, you got to go and you don't have time for your tarp to dry out, you can just stuff it in there and it'll allow for some air circulation, a little bit of drainage. So, and, you know, a little handle and some little tie down points on the uh, on the side so you can strap it on the outside of your pack. Oh, one more thing. This uh, tarp has 19 tie out points along the edge and then there's one along the all the way around the edges and then there's one right in the middle of the uh, 10 by 10, right in the middle. So you can uh, suspend it up or have it suspended to paint like a, uh, a teepee or um, some kind of configuration like that. But anyway, I am excited. I can't wait to give it a try and, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Talk to you later.